I put on my shirt this morning and I gagged. I'm having like such a short pain. I made it to Dairy Queen. I just came down to McDonald's and went the wrong way. Literally two miles of hiking. This is what happens when you have braids every day on trail, guys. Happy birthday to me. Good morning. It's so cold. I think getting out of my bag is the hardest thing. It's just so cozy. <laughs> Happy day, humans. All right, we are day 23 on the CDT. I just packed up. It's about 7.30 in the morning, like 7.24 actually, but close enough. And now we are going to Anaconda. All right, guys, and I'm really excited about being in Anaconda soon because I cannot wait to get some real food and shower and laundry like i put on my shirt this morning and i gagged i smell so bad and anaconda supposedly has a dairy queen so i'm gonna treat myself to some ice cream since today's my special day happy birthday to me i turned 30 today this is like a new season of life it's definitely a new chapter <laughs> Um, never thought in a million years I'd be celebrating my 30th birthday alone here in Montana, living on trail, smelling really bad, but here we are, <laughs> and honestly wouldn't, wouldn't have it any other way, so, haven't had any service, so I've been disconnected for a few days, feels kind of good, hopefully I'll get some service in Anaconda and I can check in with the fam, but yeah, so a few years ago, I decided, um, I stopped accepting gifts for my birthday and what I would do is I actually started road tripping and having some sort of adventure for my birthday. So last year was the first time I did not road trip and it was kind of an adjustment, <laughs> but I was hiking the AT and I had a little tramway and we stopped in Pennsylvania, had this little um, bakery breakfast joint kind of thing, coffee, and it was uh, a lot of fun, but I still like hiked. So this year, I am on trail again. It's a little bit different since I'm completely solo, but I've, I'm okay with it. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll get an Anaconda and I can treat myself. I got about 15 miles to Anaconda and 20 miles to the hostel. So it's going to be a big day, um, but that's okay. So cheers to 30! So story time. So this little spot on my knee, don't know if you can tell what's going on or not, but I actually fell the first time I was on the Penhody back in December. And I never got it looked at. I probably should have. It kind of gives me trouble in and out. Um, it turned into this like huge knot kind of thing and a bruise for a very, very long time. I did have some friends that looked at it that said maybe like actually split it or fractured it or something but whatever i never got it looked at and now on this roadwalk guys like holy moly but i'm having like such a short pain from like here to here and it's just like oh i hope i'm not like having more issues with it but i think it's just from doing a road walk so yeah so I'm about six miles to Endaconda and I had to break open the food bag. You know, I wasn't gonna because I tend to just starve myself till I get into town because I really want town food and I've been like dreaming of this birthday dinner I'm gonna have. But in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy this pepperoni wrap. Thinking about my steak and my soda and my ice cream. Six miles. All right, I got pepperoni and goldfish. My cheese is no longer good and I'm out of mayonnaise, mayonnaise packets, so pepperoni and goldfish wrap it is. Oh, getting closer to that Dairy Queen ice cream. Woohoo, I made it to Dairy Queen. So I treated myself to a soda. I am going to try their new puppy chow blizzard. 
ice cream. I've been thinking about this for like four days. So I'm like really, really excited. And I got pretzel sticks. <laughs> Made it to Anaconda, Montana, and we are staying at the Pintler's Portal Hostel. Just taking my braids out. This is what happens when you have braids every day on trail, guys. Like, ooh. <laughs> ooh, look at my loner clothes. Sexy. 23 days in and I cruised out 20 miles to Anaconda. I treated myself to ice cream and made my way to Pantler's Hostel where I got a shower and laundry and was truly reminded how it's the simple things of life. I couldn't help but to reflect on the day and I had so many thoughts as they ran through my mind as I was celebrating my big 30. I never imagined my birthday would look like this or I'd be where I'm at today, but here we are. And I was reminded how one step at a time is still progress. No one determines your worth but you. If you never ask, the answer will always be no. Failure leads to success and how powerful being along truly is and it's never too late to start over never let fear stop you from living your life and when you feel like giving up that's when you push a little harder self-healing is one heck of a game and don't be afraid to be proud of how far you've come hello humans so i left the hostel a little later as i was catching up on content and just life in general and all these birthday wishes and i just wanted to thank you everyone for reaching out it's been great um, it's definitely a new season of life. I just got this amazing coffee at Blacksmith. It's like a little coffee truck. So now I feel like my life is getting a little bit more together. And I've also made it to the Ink Honda Public Library where I'm gonna catch up on the computer and get some business stuff work done before I head out. So part of being a businesswoman, guys, you gotta stay dedicated on trail and gotta make the best of what you got. Yo, I just finished up the library here in Anaconda. So awesome what they do, guys. So if you need to print anything or use a computer or read or just have some quiet time, they will definitely let you in. They are super friendly and they will let you use an outlet. So I was able to get some business stuff done, which feels really, really good. So shout out to the library here in Anaconda. All right, guys, so coming out of Anaconda, I stopped by Albertsons, which is a little local grocery store. I was able to resupply a little bit, which feels good. I was able to get a new notebook. I always rip the front and the back out just to make it a little bit lighter. But a notebook is actually one of my luxury items because I love to journal and write, especially at the end of my day and in the morning. So that's definitely a luxury item. And I did send back my earth sandals and I found these little cheap crop thingy guys. They're actually called totes. So we're gonna try these and see what happens. And my luxury item, I'm packing out a Gatorade. So yeah, we are slowly getting moving today. <laughs> All right guys, I am finally leaving Anaconda one step at a time. Uh, my to-do list was very, very long this morning and I tend to get very like overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed, my I tend to not eat like I'm supposed to, so I actually packed out two big chickens back there for later, because when I get to hiking, I know that I breathe more and I start moving my body and I feel a lot better. I don't feel as overwhelmed or an anxiety. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, I got a lot of stuff done this morning, got some content coming for you guys, stopped at the library and got some business stuff done. I think that's one of the hardest things being on trail is staying disciplined, but as a businesswoman, you have to stay disciplined. You have to do what you need to do. So I am just so glad that Anaconda had a cute little library. So that feels really good. And yeah, yeah, we are making progress. I have about two miles to the junction. So we're just gonna take one step at a time and see how far we get today. Today's a little bit later than I like to start hiking, but it feels really good that I got some chores knocked out. And I went to the post office I sent back like my extra hiking outfit, a journal that I had filled up, and my um, the camp shoes I was wearing, the sandals. So that feels really good too, to get that out of the way. I saved like a pound and a half. <laughs> a pound and a half adds up. So yeah. So here we are. Let's get this rope all done. Wow, guys. Leave it up to Puddin' to make bonus miles. 
because I think it's cute. It's definitely not cute. I don't recommend it. I just came out of McDonald's and went the wrong way. So literally two miles of hiking. And I'm like, you know what? This kind of looks familiar because I've already hiked this. Lord bless me. So now we are going back this way. See, this is what happens when your mind gets super overwhelmed and you can't think straight leaving town. This is why I feel like you should also trust your body when you need a zero. And my mind needed a zero, but I took myself out of it. So I'm really wishing I would have took a zero. But I just resupplied and just making bonus miles because that's what pudding does. <laughs> Guys, I knew packing out that McDonald's would come in handy. So I tend to, when I get like overwhelmed or stressed a little bit, I have issues eating. So back in like my college days and high school days and even like in my 20s, I struggled to get food down and it was really hard, but I come to realize a lot of it's my mind, like the way I was feeling, I was very depressed and just unsatisfied with life. And I catch myself sometimes when I get back in the real world or like town days, it's like to do, to do, to do, rush, rush, rush. You got to get all this stuff done. And it gets me like the anxiety bullying and I get a little overwhelmed. So like I couldn't eat this morning. <clears throat> so I was like, I'll pack out these sandwiches for later because once I'm out here, I get accumulated hiking again, I breathe, and I'm forced to disconnect because I run out of service. It just reminds me, like, things are okay. Things are working out. And then guess what? I get hungry. Best is just to pack it out, guys. So if you're not wanting town food at that moment, still pack it out. <sighs> so guys, I may have already told you all this. I can't remember. But I have this bad habit of, like... <laughs> my first day coming out of town eating all my favorite food like i packed out some sour straws i was like i'm gonna save these till the end this time nope it's like the first thing i pull out so i always go for my favorite food first and then i'm like always stuck at the end of my like resupply with everything i didn't really like or didn't want to eat so uh, it's a constant battle oh trash can i'm gonna use it had some random thoughts while I'm sitting here, you know, like sitting here <laughs> as I am hiking on this dirt road here. And of course, like my mind always goes, not even nothing. I'm definitely a uh, thinker. I think about things. I don't want to say like an overthinker is bad, but I do think about a lot of things. And when you're out here, you can only walk so far, you know, it's like in the real world, we have a lot of distractions that keeps us from thinking or our mind busy out here. You do not. So I was thinking about like my past chapters and the old version of me, why I did things that I did and why I stayed in situations and relationships and why I participated in experiences that I shouldn't have. When it's like, you know, that doesn't align with you or you know, that's not what you want. And a lot of it, I feel like comes from like our childhood. I was thinking about how I used to have that choose me mentality. It's like I constantly had to feel like I had to fight. Um, I was in competition and I chose friendships and relationships that did not serve me. And it's like, once you learn that that choose me mentality came from a man in my life when I was younger, more than likely, and like childhood trauma, I don't want to get like too personal, but I had to fight for attention a lot so I feel like that contrary to my relationship so and it's just different because when you finally get over that and you're like I'm gonna choose myself and I don't care what you choose dude life is so much more peace like you realize you were just self like sabotaging yourself and you realize you're cutting yourself short you're settling so I was just thinking about that it's just crazy as we grow and evolve and transform and when you've been out here as long as I have and you experience a lot of solitude you start seeing where things come from why you have the certain triggers you do self-healing is pretty uh, difficult guys I think that's why most people don't do it they don't like the way it feels it's definitely out of your comfort zone and it's lonely and it's working through things but I feel like when you actually learn to self-heal 
It is so powerful. And once you see things, you can't unsee them. I always say the trail is a blessing and a curse. I think that's why. The more you fall in love with it and experience it and love yourself, the more you can see right through things, guys. Know your worth. All right, we made it to the Twin Lakes Creek Flume Junction. So it's pretty cool because apparently this Twin Lakes Creek Flume, they transported water down a gentle man-made grade from Twin Lakes Creek to Silver Lake. Apparently it was back in the, like it was constructed back in the late 1950s and they used it in the 1970s. Yeah, that's crazy. And in 2011 is when the section was replaced with a pipeline. That's wild. It was constructed by the Butte Water Company. That's great, a Butte and Anaconda. Hmm. Wow, and another cool fun fact, this sturdy wooden box design was capable of transporting over 40,000 gallons of water per minute. Wow. Home sweet home. Hello humans, I'm just getting kind of snuggled up and ready for bed. I'm doing some writing and some journaling. I caught it at early afternoon so I can kind of get caught up and clear my head a little bit. But I did get asked the question the other day about what camp pillow I used. So fun fact, I hiked 5,400 miles before I started using a pillow. <laughs> Guys, and then I think since I started using a pillow, my life has kind of changed um, that's probably why I can never get up in the mornings, but the pillow is definitely my luxury item here. Um, it's actually nothing really too fancy. Um, I ordered this before I went on the Appalachian Trail and I decided I wasn't going to use it, which was a shame because I should have just carried the weight. I feel like I've been missing out for 5,400 miles, but I ordered this on Amazon and it's called Hike Venture. And it's got a little strap, so it actually stays on my Thermarest and it's really soft so it's really cool and it also has like this uh little button here that you can blow it up and then it has a little clicker so you can actually hold it down and it lets all the air out or you can let it go and it holds the hair in so pretty cool yeah, and it just straps on my thermo rest i don't know if you want to ruin your life or not by getting a camp pillow but this is the kind of have 24 days and I hiked out of Anaconda where I made it 13 miles where I set up camp right before the rain came in. I had thoughts on how scary it is to try new things, but how taking a leap and living for you is one of the most powerful decisions we can make. You are the only one who can chase your dreams and you're the only one that can live for you.